Colin from ColinCBCs.com, and I have a book that I am super excited to share with you. It's called Farmer Mike Grows Giant Pumpkins. I cannot wait to open up this book and read it to you. Let's first, though, put on our good-looking eyes, okay? Ooh, and your listening ears. Let's put those on, too. Just in case there's something in the story that you need to look at or you need to listen to. Okay, here we go. Every year, Farmer Mike grows really big pumpkins. How does he grow them so big? Well, let's find out. First of all, though, before we turn the page, do you see a pumpkin on one of the pages? Do you see one or two? Yeah, I see two also. And what color are these pumpkins? Orange, that's right. Good looking eyes. Well, there are many types of pumpkins. Some are small and only grow as big as an apple. Some are larger and some are much larger. But the largest pumpkins of all are Atlantic Giants. These are the type Farmer Mike grows. So these are the Atlantic Giant pumpkins. Can you say that with me? Atlantic Giant. In late autumn, Farmer Mike takes seeds from the biggest Atlantic Giant pumpkin he can find. He washes the seeds, he dries them in the sun, and puts them safely away until spring. During the winter, Farmer Mike prepares the ground. For pumpkins to grow big, they need rich soil with lots of organics. Organics are natural items that come from plants and animals. Farmer Mike uses a shovel. Do you see a shovel? Yeah, it's in his hand, isn't it? He uses a shovel to mix in chopped up leaves, vines, and even some poop from chickens and cows. Spring is warm and time for planting. The root only grows from the pointed end of a pumpkin seed. So Farmer Mike always plants his seeds with the tip down, so down in the ground. In a few days, the seed begins to sprout and two tiny leaves push up out of the soil. You see those leaves? Like all living things, a pumpkin plant requires food, water, and sunshine. Farmer Mike waters and fertilizes the plant, and the vine begins to grow. Soon there are lots of big green leaves. Do you see those leaves? There's so many big green leaves, aren't there? This is important because the leaves capture the energy from the sun to make the plant grow strong and healthy. During the summer, yellow flowers bloom. Some of the flowers have a small ball or ovary at the bottom. When honeybees fly from plant to plant, they pollinate the flowers. Can you say that word with me? Pollinate, pollinate. And do you see the bee? <laughs> it's a cute little bee. Farmer Mike knows these small yellow ovaries will develop into pumpkins. So these are the ovaries and these develop into pumpkins. Neat, huh? To get really big pumpkins, Farmer Mike cuts off all but one or two pumpkins per plant. He also carefully moves the vines to make plenty of room for the pumpkin to grow. He continues to water and fertilize the plant. In early autumn, the leaves begin to die back and the pumpkin has turned, what color? Orange. It is huge. 
And what do you think he will do with the giant pumpkin? Hmm, any guesses? Any thoughts as to what he will do? Let's see. <gasps> Farmer Mike carves it into a big smiling face. He also saves some seeds for the next year. So here it is carved into a big face. And then here are the seeds that he's taken out of the pumpkin to save for the next year to plant again. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love this story. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. Bye.